Donald J. Trump. Once again, the President of the United States is in big trouble. NBC News special report. Good afternoon, everyone. We're coming on the air on this busy news day with breaking news. An announcement from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi of a formal impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. Today, I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. The actions taken to date by the president have seriously violated the Constitution. The president must be held accountable. No one is above the law. Holy crap. After two years of avoiding it, Trump may finally face articles of impeachment, which, believe me, he is not happy about. It's impeachment, which Trump hates, plus articles, which he hates even more. <laughs> yeah, if his mom ever caught him with a Playboy magazine, he'd be like, I swear I'm not reading the articles, just looking at the boobs. <laughs> and if you thought Trump was <laughs> unhinged before, <laughs> I can't even imagine what he's gonna be like now. Like, he's been crazy. Can you imagine what he's gonna be like now? You better keep your kids away from Twitter, people, because this thing is gonna be a Category 5 tweet storm. <laughs> and this one will hit Alabama. <laughs> but... <laughs> but how did we get here? And what does it all mean? Well, let's find out in our brand new segment, The Full Story. How did Donald Trump land himself on the road to impeachment? Well, it all started last week with a mysterious report from a whistleblower. This is CNN Breaking News. And we do begin with that breaking news. CNN has learned that President Trump had a communication with a foreign leader that was so troubling to one U.S. intelligence official that they filed a whistleblower complaint. The Washington Post reports this involved a promise. It is not known who the whistleblower is, or who the foreign leader is? Yes, it was so exciting. Trump had a mysterious phone call with a foreign leader, and everyone was wondering what it could be. Did he promise Kim Jong-un that he could use his Netflix password? Or <laughs> did he promise Vladimir Putin a role in the next Fast and Furious movie? We didn't know. <laughs> the even more exciting question was, who is the whistleblower? Because it could be anybody, except Mike Pence. <laughs> oh, because he doesn't believe in blowing things. <laughs> yeah. Mother... Mother says the mouth is for prayer and nothing else. <laughs> he doesn't even blow out birthday candles. He just uses a fire extinguisher on the cake. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, I extinguish these tiny wax penises. <laughs> so the breaking news was that someone in the intelligence community had reported Trump for doing something shady with a foreign leader. And it didn't take long for the details to come out. President Trump has been accused of threatening to hold back military aid to the Ukraine if leaders there fail to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden. The president pushed eight times for an investigation into Joe Biden. At the time of the call, the Trump administration was withholding $250 million in military aid to Ukraine that Congress had already approved. Yeah, this is huge. Donald Trump is accused of holding back military aid approved by Congress for Ukraine unless they helped him dig up dirt on Joe Biden, which, if true, would be devastating. It's an abuse of power, it's extortion, and maybe worst of all, it's asking a foreign country to meddle in America's election. Yeah, which is the one thing that if you were Donald Trump, you should stay away from, <laughs> right? Because they'd just beaten the Russia case. It would be like if the day after Michael Jackson got acquitted of touching kids, he was like, let's celebrate some slumber party at my house. <laughs> And as bad as it is for America, think about what it felt like for Ukraine. These guys are in the middle of a war, fighting off Russian invasion, right? And now, because of Trump, they have to deal with this shit. Can you imagine them on the battlefield just like, comrade, comrade, we need more ammunition. He's like, <coughs> what do you mean, no ammunition? No more bullets until we dig up dirt on Joe Biden. <laughs> it's like, Biden, didn't they see the clip where he forgot Obama's name? He's burying himself. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, this was a pretty damning accusation against Donald Trump, because using the power of the presidency for your own political gain is about as bad as it gets. But according to Trump, he ain't done shit. 
Mr. Trump dismissing the report as presidential harassment, tweeting, virtually any time I speak on the phone to a foreign leader, I understand that there may be many people listening. Is anybody dumb enough to believe that I would say something inappropriate on such a potentially heavily populated call? That call was perfect. It couldn't have been nicer. And even the Ukrainian government put out a statement that that was a perfect call. Yes, yes, yes. According to the Donald, he did nothing wrong in his dealings with Ukraine. In fact, they had a perfect call. <laughs> and uh, can I be honest? I think he's lying. <laughs> you know why? Because there's no such thing as a perfect call. Something always goes wrong. That's why we text, right? There's always something wrong with the call. Either the phone's cutting out, or you're talking over each other, or you tell them you love them, and then there's just silence. It's always something. <laughs> and here's another reason I think he's lying. If Trump has nothing to hide and he did nothing wrong, then why is he doing this? The Trump administration is facing a Thursday deadline to hand over the complaint to Congress as is required by law. The president is digging in his heels as the White House is blocking the release of a whistleblower complaint to Congress, apparently about a conversation Mr. Trump had with a foreign leader that raised red flags with an administration official. Okay, you gotta admit that's hella suspicious. Why is Trump breaking the law to prevent Congress from seeing the whistleblower's report. He must be up to something shady. Or maybe he just said something really embarrassing on those calls. Yeah. Maybe it was like, okay, great, well, it was nice talking to you. Oh, and by the way, if I drink anything after 8 p.m., I wet the bed. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, Despite a unanimous vote today from Democrats and Republicans in the Senate to release the whistleblower's report, Trump and his people are trying to block it at all costs. But the one silver lining of any Trump scandal is that if you just wait long enough, eventually, he'll just spill the beans himself. <laughs> the conversation I had was largely congratulatory, was largely corruption, all of the corruption taking place was largely the fact that we don't want our people, like Vice President Biden and his son, creating to the, the corruption already in the Ukraine. There was no pressure put on them whatsoever, but there was pressure put on with respect to Joe Biden. What Joe Biden did for his son, that's something they should be looking at. OK, we all, we all, we all heard that, right? Trump just said there was no pressure, except for the pressure to get dirt on Biden. That's the only pressure we're talking about. <laughs> that's not a defense, that's an admission. That's like Scar going, whoa, 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 I'm not a murderer. I haven't killed anyone other than Mufasa. <laughs> In fact, he's the one you should be looking into. What kind of parent allows their child to run around with warthogs? <laughs> and in case you're wondering, in case you're wondering, Trump's claim is that while Joe Biden was vice president, he pressured Ukraine to fire their top prosecutor because he was investigating a Ukrainian company that Biden's son was a board member of. That's the story. Now, there's no evidence that supports Trump's accusation. But even if it did, even if it did, it wouldn't negate that Donald Trump abused the power of his office to try and dig up dirt on a political opponent. So, that's the full story. Ukraine, Trump, impeachment, Hunter Biden. But there's still one key piece of the puzzle that's missing the whistleblower's complaint. It's the spark that has started this blaze. And if Trump refuses to hand it over, we need to get it some way or another. And thanks to Lenny Kravitz, we have the perfect solution. <laughs> if you have the whistleblower report, please, we need you to email it to trumpwhistleblower <laughs> at gmail.com.